It is the 15th of the 12th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. I'm going to go ahead and start on SOT.net tonight. Fountains of methane 1,000 meters across erupt from Arctic ice. Methane fields on a scale not seen before, a researcher said. More than 100 fountains, but could be thousands. This could, ca this could cause rapid climate change. The Russian research vessel conducted a survey of 10,000 square miles of sea off the coast of eastern Siberia. They made a terrifying discovery. Huge plumes of methane bubbles rising to the surface from the seabed. We found more than 100 fountains, some more than a kilometer across, said Dr. Igor. These are methane fields on a scale not seen before. The emissions went directly into the atmosphere. And this is a severe greenhouse gas. And basically they're saying uh, what usually happens is this ice is so thick that by the time the methane gets away from the ice, it's had time to break down to carbon dioxide. And since the ice is so thin right now up there that it's releasing directly into the atmosphere. And again, methane is a uh, greenhouse gas. Record 67-foot wave recorded off the Irish coast. I reported that yesterday. I believe I said it was 30 meters. It was actually 20.4 meters. And two more earthquakes reported in Maine. The central coast of Maine was hit by two small earthquakes nearly the same moment Monday night. Uh, smaller quakes, 2-3 and a 1-9. United Kingdom faces days of battering winds and blizzards. The Met Office predicts classic winter weather, the sort we've forgotten all about, as parts of UK sees driving rain and gales. Much of the UK faces several days of battering winds and localized blizzards as a pair of particularly severe weather systems pass over the country. And uh, we've been watching this one coming. I got a bunch of sinkhole stories. South, ha uh, South Africa, Johannesburg, car swallowed by sinkhole. Uh, Tennessee sinkhole swallows pool near the ha near near a house, and in New Hampshire, a 150-foot Manchester sinkhole swallows cars, and of course the 7.1 Papua New Guinea earthquake uh, that happened last night as I was uploading. Over to the extinction protocol, uh, Kamachka. Kizaman Volcano expels 7 kilometer ash plume. Uh, this is one of the three very active volcanoes up there. Um, it's blowing uh, ash plumes to a height of 7 kilometers. It is reported to be dangerous to aircraft. Small abrasive particles of ash can get into the aircraft mechanism causing the plane to crash. Uh, the, video, uh, the volcano has been assigned to the highest red hazard code to aviation. According to scientists, the erupting volcano presently does not pose any threat to the public. Freak weather blamed for apples falling from the sky over Coventry, United Kingdom. Uh, apparently a big gust of air came up and swept up a bunch of little green apples from a garden and flung them. Uh, and it just appeared to the locals that these apples were coming out of nowhere, banging on cars and stuff. Thousands of birds crash into Walmart parking lot, but wildlife experts explain explanation for the event makes it, makes even less sense. Uh, thousands of migrato migratory birds died on impact after apparently mistaking a Walmart parking lot and other areas in southern Utah for bodies of water and plummeting to the ground in what one wildlife expert called the worst downings she's ever seen. Crews went to work cleaning up the dead birds and rescuing survivors after the creatures crash landed on the St. George area Monday night. By Tuesday evening, volunteers have rescued more than 2,000 birds, releasing them into nearby bodies of water. They're just everywhere, they said. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy. They're saying they're blaming it on uh, storm system weather and the ducks got confused. Rain disappears from skies over half of Mexico. Worst drought in 70 years, and this has been ongoing. Dust blows across once fertile, fertile fields in North Mexico, where the worst drought in 70 years has left thousands of cattle dead and destroyed more than 2 million acres, almost 1 million hectares of crops. It practically hasn't rained this year. 
uh, and that is ongoing. And they don't expect any real any real precipitation till like June. And that's about all new they have going on tonight. Over to the RSOE. Uh, got a heat wave in reporting out of Georgia, Augusta, Georgia. Uh, unusually mild tempered weather uh, all up and down the east coast. It's supposed to drop here tomorrow. And we're going to go from nice weather to cold dropping temperatures all day. Snowstorm in the state of Arizona, Arizona wide, and they're saying up two feet in some places. Uh, Ontario, Canada is coming up with their heat heat wave, and they're having unseasonably warm weather this time of year for sure. Um, got a nuclear event in South Korea. Apparently, they had to shut down a nuclear reactor uh, because of uh, the power outs outside power. They were having problems, and uh, they went ahead and shut down the reactor. Uh, Uh, flooding in the Yukon Territory of Mayo Region in Canada. And that is about all new climate-wise I have for you tonight. Uh, over to the nuclear stuff, e, e News. New York Times on recriticality. Japan nuclear professor says chain reaction at Fukushima can't be ruled out. He disagrees with the expert in America who says it's unlikely, which would be the Arnie Gunderson video that was just released. So uh, here it is, we got a Japanese nuclear professor saying, I don't think so. Japan TV announcer, we can no longer expect anything from the government. We must change this country. And he worries about his security. Journalist finds Tokyo indoor dust contaminated with cesium at 1730 becquerels per kilogram. A scientist, dust with Fukushima fallout is the source of human radiation exposure. They have a video. And then, of course, they have the, uh, the Gunderson video, Cold Fukushima have a China Syndrome. No one can get within 100 feet of the bottom of the reactors. So I, I watched this video. Mary Greeley uh, reposted it. And uh, basically saying that all the fuel rods melted into a blob on the bottom, but he doesn't think uh, all, from all this time, the cooling off period, that it hasn't quite burned through the floor yet. <clears throat> but he's saying the sides of these buildings are leaking all this tens of thousands of tons of water and all these buildings are leaking and seeping into the groundwater, highly radioactive. So basically, you know, Japan's still this huge nuclear tea bag. NRC commissioner on the NRC's own state, when someone's reading, someone reading this would think every reactor in the U.S. is a time bomb waiting to go off. Attempted to prevent release of Fukushima report to the public, he said to the Congress. Uh, and a congressman at the NRC hearing Fukushima is the worst nuclear disaster in world history. And um, Associated Press, whereabouts of melted nuclear cores unknown is Japan ready to declare Fukushima in stable condition. <laughs> um, reactors are broken, difficult to predict what may occur. And that's about all new I have for you tonight. Of course, if I missed anything, leave your comments or post your videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.